Hello students, this is Perio, Chapter 18, Lecture 1. Periodontitis has been demonstrated to be a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. 29.2% of global deaths are attributed to cardiovascular disease. Approximately one in three Americans have a form of CVD. Atherosclerosis, or thickening of artery walls, is a major component. Subgingival plaque biofilms provide a large and persistent source of periodontal pathogens to the host. Bacteria and their byproducts are introduced into the bloodstream during toothbrushing, flossing, and subgingival irrigation. The research summary. There is consistent research findings associating periodontal disease with cardiovascular disease. The evidence of periodontal therapy effects on CBD is limited. There is no evidence of periodontal therapy reducing the risk of CBD. Research is ongoing. There are four possible biological explanations for how periodontitis is related to CVD. The direct effect of periodontal pathogens on platelets, cross-reactivity, periodontal pathogen invasion of vessels, and triggering of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Hypothesis 1 says that there is a direct effect of the periodontal pathogens on platelets which induces clots and thrombus form formation and therefore increases the risk of cardiovascular disease. Cross reactivity is where the chronic periodontal infection initiates the body's immune response and it mistakenly targets the endothelial cells of the blood vessels causing atherosclerosis. Invasion of the vessels, that theory says that the periodontal pathogens invade the cells of the blood vessel walls causing systemic inflammation and thus leading to atherosclerosis. Hypothesis four is that the chronic periodontal infection initiates the body's immune response, thereby triggering inflammatory cytokines to be produced by the liver, and that then leads to atherosclerosis. Dental hygienists should educate patients who are at risk for cardiovascular disease about the possible impact of periodontal infections on cardiovascular health and encourage oral disease prevention and treatment services. Periodontitis as a risk factor for adverse pregnancy outcomes. The adverse pregnancy outcomes are miscarriage, low birth weight, preterm birth, and preeclampsia. Research sum summary shows an association may exist between periodontal disease and adverse pregnancy outcomes. Further research is needed to establish pathogens related to preeclampsia development. Further research is needed to evaluate the efficiency and cost effectiveness of periodontal interventions. How is periodontitis related to adverse pregnancy outcomes? Animal studies suggest that reservoirs of gram-negative organisms, such as those found in periodontitis, may have a negative impact on pregnancy outcomes. This diagram illustrates the proposed biologic pathway. Hygienists should educate female patients early about the association between adverse pregnancy outcomes and periodontal infection and provide early oral hygiene services for pregnant women and those considering pregnancy. Risk factor for diabetes complications. Diabetes and periodontal disease, a two-way relationship. 
it is clear that diabetes increases the risk for and severity of periodontal disease. And periodontal disease may exacerbate diabetes mellitus. The summary of research studies shows that periodontal disease may impact glycemic control. Glycemic control in diabetes refers to the typical levels of blood sugar or glucose in a person with diabetes mellitus. Management of diabetes involves patients measuring and recording their own blood glucose levels. Measured with a glucose meter with the result in either milligrams per deciliter in the United States or millimoles per liter in Canada and Europe. In a person with diabetes before a meal, the goal is a level less than 6.1 millimoles per liter or less than 110 milligrams per deciliter. After a meal, the goal in the United States is a level of less than 140. Prolonged elevated glucose in the blood will over time result in serious diabetic complications and sometimes even death. This image shows the proposed biologic pathway that links diabetes and periodontal infection. Dental hygienists should educate patients with diabetes about the possible impact of periodontal infection on glycemic control and encourage oral disease prevention and treatment services. Risk factor for respiratory disease. The risk factors for respiratory disease include hospital-acquired pneumonia and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. Pneumonia is a serious inflammation of one or both lungs. There are two types, community-acquired and hospital-acquired. The community-acquired is contracted outside the hospital setting. Hospital acquired is contracted during a stay in the hospital or long-term care facility. Hospital acquired pneumonia results from organisms called potential respiratory pathogens or PRPs. PRPs can colonize the dental plaque biofilm, which then serves as a reservoir for these PRPs. A patient who has PRPs colonizing the mouth and or oropharynx is at an increased risk for developing hospital-acquired pneumonia. Research summary is that periodontal disease and poor oral hygiene may be associated with hospital-acquired pneumonia. Studies show that improved oral hygiene measures can reduce the incidence of hospital-acquired pneumonia. Risk factors for COPD. COPD is a group of lung diseases, mainly emphysema and chronic bronchitis, characterized by obstruction of airflow during exhalation. More research is needed to clarify a link between periodontal disease and COPD. Researchers have hypothesized a link, however, at this time there is not sufficient evidence to indicate a link. Dental hygiene implications. Poor oral self-care is common in hospitals and long-term care facilities, especially in patients who are quite ill. Hygienists should advocate for programs that enhance access of institutionalized elders to dental care services. Hygienists should advocate for training of medical health care providers in providing daily oral hygiene care. Recap, periodontitis as a risk factor for systemic disease. Chronic oral infections may be a modifiable risk factor for certain systemic diseases such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and certain respiratory conditions. 
periodontal disease may also adversely affect pregnancy outcomes. Oral health education and periodontal therapy may reduce the incidence and severity of these systemic diseases. This concludes Perio, Chapter 18, Lecture 1.